an outsider confirmed what I knew way back in the day that is pertinent today. A recent vice presidential debate is in the books. And of course, various members of the peanut gallery are chiming in. Though most of those chiming in are doing so from an emotional point of view, there's also the crowd that chimed in from a gender perspective. Gender has nothing to do with whether or not one can competently do the job. When gender is injected into the mix of a job title or position, expect a bunch of bullshit. Because you see, when I go to the grocery store, I do not care who put the products on the shelf or who made the product. The only thing that I care about is that the product that I want is in stock and safe to consume. Now, this outsider by the name of Steve Schmidt, a co-founder of the anti-Trump Lincoln Project. I call him an outsider because he is an outsider to my family. Listen close as I break down what this Steve Schmidt, his fly comment, and my family have in common. And with that out of the way... Mr. Schmidt called the fly on Vice President Pence's head a mark of the devil. One could argue that the fly was digital in hopes to overtake the debate. And there's merit to that sentiment. It isn't like no one in history has not used digital images to fool the masses before. Huh? Huh? Because here we are talking about a damn fly. I nominate the fly for vice president as nature's creatures, big and small, have the inherent ability to be just as we see with no need for a mask of any sort. The link, the article link is in the description below to see for yourself what was said in what was meant. In my older content, I did a two-part series on supernatural events. And if you have not figured it out by now, my life was changed when I witnessed what seemed like an in-house plague. That video link is also in the description below. Not only did it involve a fly, but many. Check it out. Mr. Schmidt seemingly joking about <sighs> has merit. Because during biblical times there was speeches of plagues and pestilence. And that is no joking matter. Believe, believe what's in the Bible or not, it occurred. To be honest, it's disturbing. And for those who find it funny, you will no longer jest when and if it happens to you. The point that I'm trying to make is that I do believe flies and other animals have other designs for which they can be used for. Like in my story, flies do represent death, either before or after. When you listen to my tale of encounters with the winged pest, you will then understand where I'm coming from and why this video was produced. Lastly, though Mr. Schmidt's comment was dismissed as if the fly could have landed on anything or anyone, and if the fly was real, chances are it did land on anything or anyone, and nobody noticed. It is all fun and games 
at a time that this nation is suffering. I must be frank, though I am a kill. This nation's suffering is well deserved. Now, before anyone gets their panties in a bunch, I am black first before anything. You cannot commit atrocities and expect no residuals. And that goes for anyone. If you're new to the channel and enjoy the content, please subscribe, like, and share. And tap that bell to all to be notified when I go live. And it also helps the channel grow. And as you know, growth is good. For my loyal listeners who are subscribed, I appreciate you more than you know. Thank you. I am R. Akil Bomani for Rastos Realities. And until next time, peace to you.